guys, what is up? It's your girl Rachel with Nighttime Mommy Reviews and today we're making ribs from start to finish in the Instant Pot using the Instant Pot air fryer lid. You guys, this is a game changer. This can finish the ribs, the Instant Pot can finish the ribs in one pot. That's right, one pot. We did this from start to finish. The sauce is caramelized on the ribs. What's the point of an oven now? <laughs> so now we have our Instant Pot. Uh, air fryer ribs and they are delicious you guys you guys are gonna see how easy it is to make and they're awesome I did the ribs in 60 minutes to pressure cook because mine were still frozen and you'll see that in the video but if your guys are not frozen you could do 40 minutes and then use the instant pot air fryer lid like we do in the video to finish them off uh, but if you guys are interested in any of the items that I use in the video be sure to check the description box for that information if you guys could just hit that like button I would really appreciate it it helps me with the YouTube algorithm to get my videos out to you guys and if you guys could let me know, know in the comments what you guys like is your side for the ribs I use mashed potatoes and that's exactly what we're gonna have is mashed potatoes with the ribs but what do you guys like and then if you guys could just hit that subscribe button for more instant pot air fryer lid recipes I'm gonna have them all year long 2020 on my channel for the Instant Pot Air Fryer Lid. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use the Instant Pot Air Fryer Lid to finish off your meals, and we don't need an oven anymore. So that's what we're gonna be doing, but hit that subscribe button, and let's go ahead and dive right into making these ribs. Okay, so here's what we're gonna to need to start. What we're going to need are our ribs, one cup of apple juice, we will need salt to taste, and I'm sorry, salt to taste and pepper to taste, the barbecue sauce will come after when we bring in our air fryer lid, but for right now, we're just going to go ahead and pressure cook the ribs. They are about semi-frozen still. Um, when I was getting them apart, they were still kind of tough. They're soft on the outside, but you can tell that they're frozen on the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour the one cup of apple juice into the Instant Pot. You will need your trivet, which, oh my gosh. Let me get that. Okay. So put our trivet right there. And we are going to season the ribs. And this is just so that, let's see. And put pepper and salt to taste. You can add your favorite dry rub if you want. I just let them thaw a little bit, just so it's a little bit easier, but they're not completely frozen. I want them to be thawed. But they're not. <laughs> so it's just we're gonna do this to both sides. Okay, I'm just gonna rub it in. If you have that dry rub, you're rubbing that in. You you can make the ribs to your preference. I did I had them cut in about every three ribs just to make it a little easier since the whole rack won't fit in the instant pot. Did I rub these ones? I can't remember. Okay. Then, so a little bit more pepper. Okay. A little bit more salt. And that's just going to have some flavor there. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's going in the pressure cooker. All right. Okay, so you're just going to add your ribs, and you can have them stacked on top of each other. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so now we're going to get our lid, but let me wash my hands, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to put our lid on. We're going to put the valve to ceiling. Don't forget that. And we're going to do pressure cook on high, and we are going to do it for one hour. That way we could quick, re quick release. So we're going to set it for an hour. We'll let the pressure build. And we'll be back when that hour is complete. And we should be able to have fall off the bone ribs. And all we have to do is marinate it in the, or add the barbecue sauce. So we're going to come back in an hour. Okay, so our ribs are now finished. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick release. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and 
shut off the instant pot and then let's go ahead and bring out the ribs oh my god they look and smell delicious there's one Oh, it's already falling apart. <laughs> okay. All right. So now that we have our ribs, it might get a little steamy. Um, you're gonna go ahead and grab your sauce, and you're just gonna pour it on. You can use whatever sauce you guys like. I'm using Bullseye Original. This is what my family likes. But I know I've heard about Dave's rub, I think it is, Dave's sauce or something along those lines. I heard it's really good. I have to try it out. Uh, but we have bullseye, so we're going to go ahead and do bullseye. And we're going to do this to both sides. You can already see it's falling apart with me just rubbing it. You see that? <laughs> so just rub gently. Okay, and then we'll flip it over. Try and be as careful as I can. And I washed this mat before I used it again, just in case. I know last time I got a comment, so I just want to make sure you guys know. I washed the mat before I put the ribs on it again. I'm just going to go ahead and add the sauce. Oh, I put a lot of sauce on that one. It's alright. Okay. They are really, really tender, you guys. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and dump the liquid that's in here. I don't want to get in there. Um, I'm going to dump the liquid in the Instant Pot and then bring out the air fryer lid and we will air fry the sauce on top of it to caramelize it. And we'll be back. Okay, so now I added the ribs to the pot and I just kind of put them on the sides of each other and they it's okay if they touch each other that's perfectly fine so now we're gonna just add our lid and we're gonna go ahead and do air fry 400 degrees we're gonna do six minutes allow that to caramelize and we'll be back so this we gotta start right <laughs> all right so now we'll be back all right now they're done so we're going to go ahead and actually take off the lid now. Look at that. Oh my gosh. They look amazing. Let's get a closer look. We'll bring them out. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Ah, they're falling apart just like we want. Okay. So I'll go ahead and bring the camera closer over here, that way you guys can see them. And we'll do the taste test. All right. All right, so now we have our up close look at the ribs. And I just wanna show you guys up close. I know it's already pretty zoomed in, but let's them up close. And just no effort. Just no effort whatsoever. It literally, look at that, just falls right off the bone. So let's go ahead and do the taste test. Just take a little piece. Mm. Nice and tender. The sauce is caramelized on the outside. It is so tasty. Oh my God, so tasty. So that is how you would make ribs in the Instant Pot using the Instant Pot air fryer lid to caramelize the sauce. You guys, now you can finish it all in one pot it truly is one dish, one pot that you're using to cook the ribs from start to finish. Now, I did 60 minutes for the ribs because mine were still frozen. If yours are not frozen, I'd probably do around 40 minutes, but that is how you would make them. Be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It really helps my channel out. And if you're looking for more Instant Pot Air Fryer Lid videos, this is the channel to check out. So definitely hit that subscribe button and let me know what you guys like 
as your side for your ribs in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a great night.